Where in Pasadena can you find a $600 steak? And is it worth it? I'm here at Alexander's Steakhouse to learn more about some of the most expensive steaks in the world. I love helping families buy and sell homes in Pasadena because this city has so much to offer. I'm Eva Lin and this is Pasadena's Best. Hi, Jace. Hey, Eva. It's great to see you again. Yeah, likewise. So, Alexander is known as one of the top destinations for fine dining in Pasadena. Yeah. What makes the restaurant such a standout? You know, I think it's just our unique uh, set of products that we have here. From uh, black and white truffles to malisol, ocetra caviar, fresh uni, uh, to an incredible world-class wine list that has uh, Domine Ro uh, Romane Conte, you know, uh, DRC, if you will, uh, <laughs> ranging all the way up to $30,000 in selections, uh, you know, over 600 selections for you to choose from. And certainly the access to Japanese beef and uh, the A5 Wagyu. So this is our selection of Wagyu. Uh-huh. Yeah. They look like beautiful. The four that we have tonight are some of the best in the world. We do have the one that I talked about, Miyazaki dethroning Kobe in the World Wagyu Olympics Championship. So this is the one. This is Miyazaki, mm. right? This is uh, the champion twice now. Uh, really big pockets of marbling. We call it snowflake or spiderweb marbling. Ah, this, one, yeah. this one here, Kagoshima. This is the current gold medal winner in the World Wagyu Olympics Championship. So 2017, this was the champ. Uh, the most recent winner, right? Uh -huh. Big, big pockets of marbling, high levels of monounsaturated fat. So that fat just melts in your mouth with very little chewing required. Wow. This is my favorite. This is the Shiga Omi, one of the three royal beefs of Japan, along with Kobe and Matsuzaka, or what they call the, the big three, the Sandai. Uh, this one is a filet. If you notice, striated marbling. Uh, not spiderweb or snowflake marbling, this is a tenderloin. So you don't always see tenderloin offered of Wagyu in the United States. Right. It's oftentimes kept in Japan. It's a delicacy, right? It's the most balanced meat fiber to fat ratio. Right. This one here, this is our, our rarest one that we have. This is Hokkaido snow beef from Chateau Unai. So this one is not fed any alcohol its entire life like these three, right? So they actually put coats on these cattle. They feed outside uh, just to make sure that they stay warm in the winter rather than feeding them alcohol to get them to eat. Uh, they eat all year round just to stay warm because it's cold up in the northern tip of Honshu in Hokkaido. Uh, so this one is $165 or $165 for three ounces. Three uh, ounces. Yeah. Wow. If you want to do the whole quattro or the, uh, the quad as we say, that's $550 to try My goodness. 12 ounces of Wagyu. So three ounces of each one. Yeah. Wow. It's the most expensive beef in the world. We're not trying to hide that. All right. So now we're going to try the uni toast with Ooh. a little seared A5 Miyazaki. And we're going to finish it with some Santa Barbara uni, a little sea urchin as well. So in the pan right now, Chef has a little bit of our house-made brioche. He's done that with an uni wash. So it's a little bit of pureed uh, sea urchin in there. Uh, you have uh, a little bit of cream and butter to finish. He dips that uh, in our house-made brioche and then sears that in butter. So that's going to be the base of the toast. Oh, nice. uh, and then we're going to lay that Miyazaki right over the top with the uni as well. Uh, wow. and, uh, Look at that, he slices up the, the A5 Wagyu. It looks absolutely incredible. So Wagyu is so temperamental with the, the temperature, he can leave that under the light just for a moment and it will start to, to melt. So it softens up the fat just a little bit. So it uh, really adds to the richness of the, mm. the uni toast. Yeah. Okay. It looks like we've got the uh, brioche coming off right now. Oh, you know, I said Santa Barbara. This oh, is Hokkaido uni wow. uh, or the Joe uni. Uh, which yeah. is the most sought after uni in the world. That's right. Uh, we always try to get Hokkaido uni and sometimes it is very scarce. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Is that a black garlic puree? Yeah, a little black garlic to finish. Okay. All right, so here we have our A5 Wagyu tartare, little quail egg wrapped with 24 karat gold. And then this is the uni toast, house made brioche French toast, slices of A5 Wagyu, and a little bit of Hokkaido Joe uni to finish. Lovely. Enjoy. Thank yeah. you. Wow. This looks amazing. Cheers. Mmm. Wow. It's really good. So that was Alexander's Steakhouse. The space is elegant. The food is both beautiful and delicious. It is clear why this is such a popular place for fine dining in Pasadena. So if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and like, share, and comment on it so even more people can learn about Alexander's Steakhouse. Go ahead and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.